Hey there, Missouri Mama here. My name is Nina, and today we are going to play with this dragonfly wing mold. I think it's super pretty. I have pigment all over my hand. I'm super sparkly today. So, I'm going to start by taking this black mica powder. And I am going to dust everything. Dusty, dusty. And in here, and in here. Flip it around so I can make sure I got enough pigment in here. And I really want to make sure I got enough pigment down in the grooves. Well, really, that's where I need it. So, that part is all done. Just going to. I'm not sure how much there's be, but that's not bad. So, I'm going to take a hand wipe. And, let's see, something flat would be useful. That's not really flat. Okay, this one's kind of flat, so I'm going to take that because I don't want it to get into the grooves of these wings. I just want to take it off of, like, this part. And it will take a few, let me fold this in half, because the, this fabric's kind of thin, like, this material, whatever they make these out of, kind of sucks a little bit, but, let's go like this. Alright, so I'm like, real worried I'm going to get down in there, so. Let's just try a Q-tip. It doesn't really want to work either. So, hmm. I don't care if I take it off the sides, I just don't want it off of the, out of those grooves. So I'm going to clean this up and I will be right back. Alright, so I am back. I think I did pretty good. Um, if you tried to do something like this, a good way to check be to look like this and you can see you know the black veins 
are still in my wings. So I've got two duo multi-chromes. So we got purple, red, golden, and blue, purple, red. These are from Timu, same with the mold. Um, I'm going to start with purple, red, golden. I want that on the bigger set. I forgot these had these slits that I don't like. Sorry, I was checking to see how it went down. I can't really see it through the back, but hopefully this shows up really good when I pour some resin in there. Now we're going to do the other shade and these smaller ones. So I decided to use these because I'm hoping it'll give that like effect that you know like their wings have kind of you know how the, their wings just have that iridescent really cool looking color changing effect to them I'm hoping that these will help bring that across even though it's not like realistic colors and whatnot but I want it to look magical all right so I will mix up some resin and we will pour these and see how they turn out I'll be back Alright, so I am back to pour this one. Just going to pour in some black resin. a little messy because I'm in a hurry. My resin is pretty warm. Oops. Alright, so that'll all be easy to clean up. We'll see you back for demolding. Alright, and I'm back, and these are cured. There's, you know, some spillage because I was in a hurry, but my fingers are filthy because I keep picking up pigment. <laughs> so I will have to do some, you know, cleaning up on these. But, oh, that is so pretty.
Oh, I like the coloring on those. And the black does show. And the multicolor does show. These are just black. Let's see these ones. These ones I did a different color than the Oh, yeah. So pretty. Oh, these are going to make cute little earrings. Oh, yeah. Those are so pretty. Look at these. Oh, those are pretty. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Bye.